Yo, what is up everyone? It is Angel coming back at you with another awesome review. Today we got something that I am really, really excited about. And I don't think I've been excited about a figure in a very long time like this. Let's go ahead and crack it out and just see what, what I'm talking about. It is the McFarlane DC Multiverse Nightfall Batman. On the box, it just says Batman, even though this is supposed to be the Nightfall Batman. I don't really think it looks like the Nightfall Batman, the crazy, you know, Batman that uh, McFarlane drew. I mean, it obviously lacks the very pointy um, cow. And, um, you know, it doesn't look exactly the same, but I can say describing this doesn't do it any justice. Having it in hand, this is beautiful. And I don't really, you know, collect in-box stuff, but I want to have one just to keep in the box. So if I come across another one, I might have to cop it just to keep it in box. I will humbly admit McFarlane, I didn't really mess with their stuff until I got the 89 Batman from the Flash movie. That figure blew me away for 20 bucks. I mean, come on, look at this thing. McFarlane has been doing absolutely, oh, there it is on the side of the box, of course. Doing absolutely great with uh, his recent products. That is uh, the back of the box. You can see this beautiful artwork from his Nightfall Batman comics. And uh, yeah, this should be hitting Target the 21st or the 22nd. I don't know exactly. Uh, of July. Uh, I got this through GameStop.com. You know, it, it was sent on a Monday. It got here on a Thursday. So if you want it, go hit them up right now. I don't know if it's still in stock, but that's where I got it. Let's go ahead and crack this open and stop the talking. All right, so like I said initially, the video itself and the photos of this figure does not do it any justice. This figure is absolutely gorgeous. McFarlane did a fantastic job, and this is definitely the staple Batman. If you want a perfect Batman, this is the one. This is the one all us Batman fans have been waiting for. And McFarlane killed it and I really don't have much to say other than this is a fantastic figure um I guess costume wise the only thing that is a little bit off is this gray right here it's definitely a lot more dramatic because I have a light shining on it but it's a very light gray it's not a dark gray which I would have preferred but I'm sure this body buck is going to get a lot of variants it's already being used on uh their Catman, which is their gold label and um yeah, we already know that this this figure or this body buck is is gonna be reused. I mean, why wouldn't it? It's a nice body buck. Um, but everything else is fantastic. I love the classic look of it: the blue and the, the gray, the subtle gray, and the yellow belt. It just looks great. I mean, this head sculpt is amazing. So whoever's sculpting for them is doing a fantastic job. This is a very smaller. A very a smaller figure compared to their other ones body wise it the frame of it it feels a little bit smaller and you'll see when I do some size comparisons but I do like it a lot it moves very well um, accessory wise it comes with 
his two fist hands, which is what he comes with fresh out of the package. And then he comes with two uh, semi-gripping hands so he can hold his pad ring, I'm, I'm sure, and other things if you have additional accessories of your own. Um, this is the battering. Just a basic blue battering. Comes with a card, which the quality of this card, I, mean, I don't really care for the cards. This feels like more like plasticky. I mean, you could even see the shine. So I guess that's a good thing if you do collect these. I mean, probably won't bend as easy. There's the bio. And then the classic stand. So yeah, let's go ahead and see what's going on with the movement and uh, check out the articulation. All right, so his head doesn't look down very much. Looks up a decent amount. Looks to the right, the left very easily. Moves around very easily as well. Uh, arms go up that high, 90 degrees. Uh, reaches across, okay, good enough though. Uh, it does have a butterfly joint in the shoulder. Uh, double jointed pinned elbows. I mean, I'm sure they'll get to pinless eventually, but they are pretty nasty looking because you can kind of see like the the jagged edges of the, whatever it's called, the articulation like to, you know, when you feel it all bumpy and stuff. I, I'm not a... I'm not an engineer of these figures. I don't know what that piece is called, but you understand. Anyways, um, and then wrist rotation, 360 degrees, side to side. This wrist joint is interesting. I, I see what they're going for. It's odd, but I'll take it. I mean, it's new, it's different. I mean, you know, McFarland has to, compete with all these other big companies. So uh, I like that they're trying to do things differently from an engineering standpoint. Um, and then can lean forward a decent amount for a McFarland figure. It leans back very well, side to side, no problem. Has that upper to torso joint and that lower abdomen joint, which is fantastic. Legs go up decently high. I mean, this rubber part kind of gets in the way, but Goes to the side, no problem. You can easily do the splits. Uh, bend at the knee. And then forward and backward at the calf or the ankle. Side to side rocker. And then it can turn as well with that joint they're using, which is an interesting joint as well. It looks okay. I mean, and then the, the toe... The toe joints, I guess I can't talk. I don't know what's wrong with my brain. Sorry, everybody. But it has the toe joint as well. So yeah, uh, he is suited and booted. Honestly, these feet do look a little bit big, but he's wearing boots, you know? I'm, it's not something that I'm gonna notice nor complain about. I think it's not, you know, a perfect figure, but it looks amazing. And also, I think it's the best figure McFarlane has put out and like ever honestly like just the feeling of it in my hands this feels like a nice figure uh cape doesn't really get in the way it's this nice good quality plastic uh and then it's connected right there just so you guys know for you customizers out there and yeah fantastic figure love it a lot let's go ahead and do some size comparisons and get some other action figures out here and see what is going on with the size of this guy if I can get him to stand there we go all right everyone so we got a few of my favorite action figures from this year and just some of my favorite figures in general but this is the size comparison we're looking at I think it's pretty good I mean for the McFarland stuff obviously it's taller than the six inch stuff but I like what I'm seeing here. I'm very nit nitpicky with the McFarlane figures. I got the McFarlane Joker. And then this is the 89 Batman I was talking about. Not the original, but the newer one from the Flash movie. Um, and then we got the retro carded black suit Spider-Man. 
the Mirage NECA Turtle from the four pack and then uh, Fei Long from the Jaded Toy Street Fighter. All these figures are beautiful, fantastic, and as, as you could tell, this guy is gonna stand out on your shelf and look utterly fantastic. They look great next to each other. Very happy to have it in my collection. Yeah, everybody, so at the end of the day, I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you or put up a front. I'm gonna be 100% as honest as possible and say, this figure is amazing. This is a fantastic Batman. I think it's one of the best Batman figures we've had ever. And, you know, I've been collecting toys for a very long time and McFarlane did a great job. The only thing I could say is I wish he added some shading to it, but they do have a shaded version. More of a animated version, if I had to say, or comic-y looking version uh, for the SDCC for 2023. If you're there, congratulations. Pick me one up if you do, just kidding. But that one is nice. I'm not gonna pay resale for it. I am happy for this guy, or I'm happy to have this guy. But um, yeah, this is a great looking Batman. I wish I had some shading, maybe a darker gray. I don't really like the post cape thing because it is flowing out to the side, but that's just my personal opinion. This figure is great. I wouldn't say it's perfect, but it is fantastic and I am super happy to have it. Um, hopefully down the line, we'll get more of a variant with some pointy ears, maybe a gold label. But if it is a gold label, GG's on that. I haven't even found a gold label myself, at least Walmart wise. Anyways, enough about the ranting. This figure is a 9.5 out of 10. McFarland came in guns blazing with this one. This is a fantastic figure. I love it and I love it and I'm happy. Um, I'm super happy to see McFarland get the, I think it's the license for DC uh, and continue investing money in this line and continue to make toys for us. Um, I think that McFarlane is doing a great job and they're only getting better. And I love how they listen to the fans. That is very amazing and very happy to me because you know, the fans are the most important people in this situation. And when we got concerns or we talk about things like QC errors, it seems like they've been listening and they've been giving people what they want. Um, uh, I heard about the whole 89 Batman thing with Amazon. I mean, I luckily got an order in. Is it guaranteed? Who knows? They'd be canceling orders left and right, but it was very difficult. And I'm sorry if no one was able to get that 89 Batman with the Batmobile. Uh, hopefully they release it singularly or they are supposed to release a six pack soon. As of right now, I am very happy with this guy. And I think everyone else will be too. And it's a very nice figure. Anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. I try to upload one to two times a month if I can. Um, if you enjoy my content, feel free to subscribe down below. Let me know what you think of this figure. If you got him down in the comments below and drop a like supporting the channel, please subscribe everybody. I'm trying to get to a thousand subs by at least the end of the year. So I want to continue this and continue reviewing toys because I love doing this and um, you know, getting along with the community and talking to people about these things because this all makes us happy. At the end of the day, what I'm saying is my opinion 100%. And if you have your own, you have your own and we should all respect each other's opinion. I think this is a knock out of the park for a figure. And if you pass it or if you're looking at it and you might wanna get it, I'd say get it now because it seems like it's already being flipped and people are trying to resell this guy for ridiculous prices. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.